Big leftist Bill Maher trashed David Hogg on his HBO show Real Time with Bill Maher so badly that the tragedy celebrity freaked out and is nowhere to be found. Maher called the anti-gun teen a big bully and then he proceeded to hit him hard with a nasty surprise that no one saw coming. Don't miss this. Bill Maher is a huge leftist, but there are rare times that the HBO star gets something right, like his take on David Hogg. Maher started his HBO show with a shocker, and even the panel of liberals couldn't make a dent in the truth bomb that Maher had dropped on Hogg. I want to defend Laura Ingraham, Maher told the audience. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it has to do with the Parkland kids and guns and free speech. He continues, Hogg complains about bullying? That's bullying. According to the New York Post, Maher's ABC show Politically Incorrect was cancelled in 2002 after he claimed that the terrorists on 9-11s were not cowards. I have been the victim of a boycott, I've lost a job as a result. It is wrong. You shouldn't do this by team, you should do it by principle," Maher said and then stuck his tongue out to the audience. Maher wouldn't be deterred by the audience's reaction or even liberal his guest panel who tried to equate a boycott for any reason as the same as free speech. Really? All of the things Laura Ingraham has said over the years, and this is the straw that broke the camel's back? Maher said after former New York governor. Elliot Spitzer said boycotting is part of free speech. Maher added that Hogg created a very chilling atmosphere. That chilling atmosphere is the fact Hogg is trying not only to do away with the Second Amendment but he is also impeding free speech, the First Amendment, to stop anyone who disagrees with him. Yes, that is chilling, and even though Bill Maher doesn't agree with Laura Ingraham's politics and uses his free speech to do a tasteless joke about her becoming a terrible human being since the early days when she used to appear on his show, he is making the point. That Hogg's actions are sinister and Hitlerian. Hogg's like a little Hitler running around and using his status as a survivor to make people apologize and instigate boycotts for anything that hurts his feelings or he disagrees with. Maher quips, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater and you can't say David Hogg doesn't test well. The HBO host also brought up his friend, rapper Killer Mike who appeared on NRA TV and had to apologize to David Hogg afterward. Why? Well, Killer Mike said he told his kids before National Walkout Day, if you walk out that school, walk out my house. Killer Mike continued. There was something that the woman who is the NRA spokesperson Dana Loesch said, and everybody just kind of lost it, referring to the CNN town and CPAC events. Dana says that the tears of white mothers are like ratings. And that's so true, and it was so sad to hear her acknowledge it, but it's true, and black people know it's true, because black people say it, then, the rapper directed his comments at Hug, saying, you're not woke. You are a lackey of the progressive movement because you have never disagreed with the people who tell you what to do," he said. Apparently, Killer Mike was forced by his PR team to apologize to Hogg, and like Laura Ingraham, it was a huge mistake, only emboldening the little leftist hero. So how has the new darling of the anti-gun crowd reacted to Mutter's blistering attack? He's speechless and has virtually disappeared from his favorite social media platform Twitter. Yep, Hogg used Twitter 24-7 and just loved all the attention he got there since he was given the coveted blue check mark, he was going to change the world. Twitter for Hogg is like breathing and he has now gone dark only retweeting a couple of posts, nothing new from him since the modern smackdown. 
This is huge considering that he launched this big endeavor just a few days ago on Twitter, called the Town Hall Project. Together with his handlers, the George Soros-funded Women's March leaders, the concept was to hold these lefty town halls and force every congressman across the country to show up. This tweet is dated April 7. Hogg launched this project and then disappeared from the limelight. Hogg's gone into hiding, probably crying that he's a survivor and that Bill Motter called him a bully. Will he come back and tell the useful idiots to boycott Motter? Only time will tell. For now, Americans are weighing in on Motter's show. For once I agree with Bill Maher because he is right. It is chilling. Orwellian. Hive mind. Just flat out scary. The opposite of everything we purpose to believe in as a county, tweeted Tara Cameron. I usually don't agree with Bill Maher, but he is right about left being anything but liberal they want to shut down and punish anyone who disagrees with them. They are now a lynch mob of viciously authoritarian anti-free speech fascists. David Hogg should keep at it though, tweeted deplorable Melissa with a pic attached of David Hogg which says, Hi I'm David Hogg and I've sold more Arkansas 15s than the NRA. I have a feeling Hogg is feeling the pinch of his declining fame. The mob is fickle and the attention span of the leftist losers is about 24 hours. Hogg got his 15 minutes of fame and then some. He's been overexposed and I'd wager this modder smackdown is the beginning of the end for him. He will try and stay relevant and he will claw his way to stay in the limelight, but it's clearly over. The mob is bored with him. They've moved on from Higmania 